Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me back here at Gold Gym. This is vlog number five, and today's focus is all about the legs, quads in particular. So what you're gonna see is my actual leg workout, and my focus today is more on separation conditioning, using a lot of different exercises and movements to really attack and work and target those quad muscles from a variety of different angles. So a little bit more intensity, a little bit more volume, but like I said, the focus is not really on overall weight. So uh, take that into account when you're watching. Uh, also, check out my full training program on robertsch.com. This is where I'm putting much of my 12-week contest prep, diet, training. Also, catch me on my new live Facebook series starting this Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so 6 p.m. Uh, GMT in London and England. Uh, this will be on my Facebook page, Rob Riches Fitness, where I'll be starting things off with a, a little bit about getting to know me, where things started, my motivation, how I got into fitness, and try and bring you a little bit more clarity into, uh, you know, if you want to be doing the same thing, how to go about doing that. So check that out, Facebook, Rob Riches Fitness. That will be every couple of days. We're going to keep this going, and uh, yeah, let's get things started with today's leg workout. such a big muscle group, I'm going to start things off with a warm-up combo, hitting the hamstrings with some lying hamstring curls, and then moving on to seated leg extension. Focus here is really on that muscle contraction. Slow movements, not going as heavy, aiming for 15 reps on these, so three sets each back to back with minimal rest, hence one amount of breath, and it's that slow controlled movement for the extension. So with the uh, lying hamstring curls, I'm squeezing my heels all the way up to my glutes, as high as I can go, contracting that hamstring, and then slowly allowing my leg to lengthen, open back up, stretching out the hamstring without allowing the weight to touch. So two things here. First, time under tension. Each rep is about a one, two up, no pause up the top, and then about a one, two down. And the second one is, keeping that tension in the muscle throughout the entire range of motion. I'm not allowing the weights to touch. So if the weights are smashing down after each rep, stop this, stop short just of that. You'll feel that tension in the muscle. It's a little bit harder to, to get that movement back on. But if you need to, lower the weight down and make sure that you're feeling that muscle work. Second exercise, combo, leg extensions. Same principles here, not allowing the weights to touch, squeezing the muscle as I extend that leg up as straight as I can, flexing hard on the quad, and then controlling that descent, making sure the weights don't touch. First main leg exercise here. It's a leg press using a, a cradle type leg press. Slightly different than the uh, your standard sledge leg press. It's just kind of closes that angle in. I really feel that contraction when I go deep, allow my knees to come right up towards my chest. It's a great stretch on the quads. And with this one, what's different than some of my other leg workouts, I'm not gonna vary the weight by keep increasing the uh, increments, adding more weight each set. Instead, I'm gonna stick with a minimum 12 rep and focus on different foot placements. So you can see a couple of standard ones, toes and heels in line, and then a couple of sets where I've got more of a, a frog based squat, toes outside of the heels, a little bit of a wider gait, not heavy here. So it's more about um, that big compound multi joint movement here. Four range of motion, squeezing and flexing as always the quads as I near the end. And like you'll see with every exercise typically that I do, I'm not pausing at least long at the top or bottom. I want to keep that continuous loop going. Flexing, contracting, and then lengthening the muscle. Think about how the muscles work, that sliding filament theory. I don't want to hold it too long. I'd rather get the repetitions in with that intensity and weight. Hacks 
squat action here. Now, some of you might be thinking, what's the difference between the leg press of the last exercise and the hack squat of this one? They both work the muscle in a similar way of compression, some multi-joint, some compound movement, also point of doing two. Feeling. For me, on the leg press, I can really load up that weight, feel it right on that kind of teardrop, the outer quad. And with hack squats, especially depending on where I put my foot and my foot position a little bit higher up, I can sit down into it and feel it more up towards the upper region of the quad. So, a couple of things here. Really keep the back pushed up against the back of the pad. And if the feet are too high up on the foot placement, then you're gonna be activating a little bit more of the hamstring. So, at least that midpoint, if not a little bit lower. We've got a few variations here. We've got more of that wider. We've got neutral and then the last two sets. I don't know if you can see on here, but I have my toes slightly inwards. And I'm focusing on that outer sweep, flexing and squeezing my quads as hard as I can as I push up. So, I wanna get that continuous motion back up and down without bouncing or rushing the weight. exercises really drain me systemically because you're working around the hip and uh, lots of different muscles involved with this movement especially that quad so this is really a single leg lunge my back foot is positioned on uh, about a foot high so you can use a normal bench laces down not on my toe nice flat um, position across the laces and you want to make sure with this exercise that when you lunge down, your front leg is far enough forwards so that you get a nice 90 degree angle at both knees. Therefore, your hips are right down in the middle. You get a fantastic stretch on that back leg and you really feel all of that effort, work and resistance on the front quad. So a couple of ways you can do this. One, like I prefer to do them, 12, 15 reps on each leg and then switch over. Or it's a little bit difficult with your foot on the back and you can use a Smith machine for this, but you can just alternate your legs, step one forward, step one back. Lots of variations with this one. You can perform this as a walking barbell lunge, walking dumbbell lunge. You can use a Smith machine. You can use dumbbells or a barbell. Foot up on the back, you can step forwards, you can step back. All of these will work the leg in a very different manner. So for this particular workout, focusing three sets, 12 reps each, same weight, and just slightly angling my foot position, my toe. So keeping it neutral, slightly outwards and slightly inwards on each of those three sets. I can feel the effects on my quad. It's got me drained. A couple more exercises to finish off this leg workout. typical leg standard. My legs are definitely feeling it. I've been going through a full range of motion, I've been going deep. I've still been putting a lot of uh, resistance overloading on the muscle through a variety of different angles. And this exercise, you want to call it a sissy squat or an assisted sissy squat. This exercise certainly starting off holding out that 45 pound plate, really feeling it on my quads, my glutes, my core, my lower back. So performing as many reps as I can good technique and then uh, I'm gonna drop that 45 pound plate put that down keep the arms crossed and just focus on that muscle contraction my legs are shaking right now if you want to be walking out the gym or barely walking and feeling the muscles having thoroughly been worked all of those deep type 2b muscle fibers those growth fibers look regardless whether your goal is conditioning getting lean reducing your body fat or putting on some size getting bigger getting stronger I still really believe that a good spectrum of exercises to work the muscle from a different range of angles, different variety, really is key. Your nutrition, your rest, and the frequency, and the actual level, or the uh, resistance, the weight that you lift, will play more in part to determine whether you're gaining size, losing body fat, 
but as far as working the muscles are concerned, it's really about incorporating a full spectrum of exercises. So this one is really just to finish off, squeeze out everything I've got there. I'm gonna move on, finish off today's leg workout with some single leg extensions. So you can see we've gone through a range of, uh, we've gone through a range of compound, multi-joint, single joint, but outside, it's a great single joint exercise working on individual muscle groups, and then a kind of a burn off, superset, drop set type exercise. So lots of different variety in today's leg workout. wraps up today's leg workout. Finishing off with some single leg extensions. You can see here a couple of different variations. One, I'm keeping my toes firmly pressed down forwards as straight as possible. Different feeling than when I curl the toes up. So vary these on different sets or as part of a drop set. And then as you see, after three sets of single leg extensions, I'm on to a uh, standard leg extension. Both legs together, drop set or tri set. Uh, close to the maximum weight, as many reps as I can, and then I keep reducing the weight by a third, two more times. Full extension, squeeze those quads, get everything you've got left in you out on these sets. Been in the gym for about an hour, so pretty complete leg workout. You'll see on a, a future vlog when I focus more on my hamstrings and calves. Sometimes I mix them in together, quads and hams, with some calves. Days like today, I like to focus purely on quads. Hi guys. If you like this video, please do subscribe and like. Check out my website, robrichards.com, for my full 12 week prep. Subscribe, and I'll send you a free training program. Also, shout out to Dark Sport or Dark Clothing. You can check out the link up here. They uh, make some pretty cool t shirts, tank tops, vests, and uh, joggers. So, uh, check them out. And if you use Rob10, you get 10% off. So, uh, you're welcome. Alright, guys, keep following, keep training, stay motivated. I'll be back in the gym and bringing you some kitchen shows real soon. Bye. Take care.